All right, a quick one on how to use Beckenet trading software. Or first thing first, all you need to do is login, create an account, then login. So I'm going to just login. And all you need to do, Beckenet Trading Software is a simple app that tells you when to buy and when to sell. Now, this app has a lot of functions and you just need to focus on the one that is working for you. You understand? We have the voice command. We have the device notification. We have all those things in place. So I'm going to go straight to the point and show you how to place a trial to get a signal and how to do all those things. Now, first thing first, all you need to do This guy here, which is swing trade, Ganesha, key level. Do you understand? Those are the pairs that you will focus on. Those are the ones that will actually tell you when to buy and when to sell. Every other thing is just a tool that is going to enhance you, like the key level reaction, sniper entry, trend direction, turning point. Those things are for professionals. If you understand Forex very well, with all those words, it's going to increase your profitability in the market. But for you not to stress yourself, our selling point is this guy, this one, and this one. Those are the things you need to to know how to operate and they are very very simple there are just two things you need to look out for up move zero candle finish so once you see them manually then you can start programming it so that you can be getting a lot notification even if you're in a busy place you're working a lot notification can come now this, this there's what we call ganesha pro you can use it to trade binary option too you can use it to, to trade what binary option so i'm going to show you how to start with what smash 100 the whole setup are the same thing just identify trend direction and numbers of candle you are good to go then check the if price is close to a resistant or support simple as what abcd so i'm going to be going into uh where is it again i'm going to go into what we call smash 100 look at it I'm going to be clicking smash 100 or if you don't want to click smash 100 you can just click this guy view all to see all the setup is available on smash 100 just click here there's no signal now so let me go back to the single aspect smash 100 click here just click click I'll select any pair. So if there is any setup, all I need to focus on, where I need to focus my eye, not this guy. You don't have any business here, please. You don't have any business here. What you need to look out for, trend direction, trend D-I-R, is called direction. If he is showing you up move, showing you up move, it means that you are going to buy. If he's showing you down move, it means that you're going to say the soft this smash 100 has done the analysis so once he display up move for you he has done the analysis that the market is going to buy if he shows you down move he has done the analysis that the market is going to buy then the next thing you need to consider is the number of candle number of candle simply means the hour the duration that signal is going to expire if you are seeing zero, it just started one. If you are seeing one, it just started two hours ago. If you are seeing two, it has started three hours ago. So within this lifespan, within this duration, you can take this signal. So long you are seeing up move here, yeah? numbers of candles between zero, one, or two. So Smash Andre has three hours lifespan. So after that three hours, you cannot take that trade again because price must have gone very far. You can't take it. So after, if you are seeing anything less anything greater than two you shouldn't take that trade again so your focus it should be like this one i'm seeing three candle here had it been i saw up move or down move i cannot take this trade because price has been buying for long or has been saying for long so what you need to focus on trend direction has to be up move or down move then numbers of candle has to be either zero one or two then you take your trade you don't just take your trade like that the next thing you need to do go to your input chart there's what we call an input chart from that input chart you'll be able to filter out the signal that you just got now
a resistance or support so i'm going to use a random pair let me just use gold for instance i'll click this i'll click load click on settings now we have a lot of things here focus on the weekly focus on the weekly okay this weekly key level this is last week key level this last two weeks key level this is a daily key level if you are a resistant and support trader you understand all this all these things you'll be able to understand them but for sake of this video i'm going to stick only to the weekly key level which is the current key level so once i plot this thing it's going to give me a line this thing is very simple don't get yourself confused if you are a forest trader you should know the difference between resistant and support if price is close to a resistance you don't buy you don't buy if price is close to a support you don't sell for you to buy price is supposed to the distance from where you are to where the next resistance is there should be enough space for you to buy if you want to sell the distance from where you are to the next support there should be a distance now what you need to focus on is this green this green this green this red this red this red not this line this line is just a starting point it's like a pivot so if this can do the software told us to buy up move this is our next resistance there is a space for us to get to this place we can take the trade if the software told us to sell this is our next support prices can come to this place we can take our trade do you understand it's as simple as abcd but if this candle that i'm seeing now this candle let me zoom it so that you see now this candle that i'm seeing now is already close to this place and the software told us to buy we cannot buy because this is a resistant already it's blocking us from moving to the upside we can't take that trade. all we need to do is avoid it and look for another opportunity the same thing with the sell aspect if for instance the software the candle is currently here and the software told us to say we cannot sell because this is telling us that is a, a support here for us to sell that means we have to break this place but we don't know if that signal has the momentum to break this level it's a 50 50. so if a candle is here and it's telling you to sell downwards this is a support level we cannot take that trade all we need to do leave it until we see a clear signal like this and the software told us to say we are selling to this key level do you understand so this can be our take profit do you understand and it's not always likely that price will test this key level once you have gotten 20 30 40 pips is more than enough for you to close or break even or start trailing stop is as simple as abc you must not sleep in the market that today my my trade must hit take profit if you know he take profit and no go leave if you are doing that you are killing yourself because it is not your father that owns the forest market your own is to go into the market any slight change in the market from where you are any slight price change of pips from where you are to where the current market is that's why you're in profit if it's 30 40 pips profit break even and start trailing stop secure the one you have first than to be hoping for market to hit your take profit first you're not proving anybody anything your goal is to put that money in your pocket the one you're saying you get it you are not we are not doing any competition with anybody that uh, i'm the one that normally hits the profit first no is your own you are hustling is your own personal profit so if you can see 30 40 pips you did not close that trade or you did not break even or secure some profit as the market is moving you three stop you are the cause of your problem so you don't you don't fold your hand and say today today price must hit this take profit if you hit it fine but if it doesn't you your job is to focus on what start trailing stop as long as you are in profit start trailing stop or break even then relax not when you see that price has you're already in profit massive profit now you just wait for price to hit this without securing the little one that you have now let me show you something on gold i'm currently trading gold now so let me show you something so all right this is my current position for today okay this is a carryover trade on gold now let's say for instance as you, as you can see i've breaking even i've moved my sl to this place i've secured nothing less than let me say in case if the market want to retrace i've secured almost 100 pips do you understand so it's an abomination that i'll be waiting for price to hit my take profit even if i set my take profit high as i'm seeing over 200 profit i am expected to move my sl to to secure a distance here i've secured over 100 pips 
100, 160 pips. That's what I've secured now. So even if the market takes me out, I am not losing anything. I'm, I am not losing money in my account. Rather than I have secured my profit already. So with this, I can relax and allow the market to ride on. So if you see 40, 50 pips and you do not break even, or take, what is break even? Break even is simply means that you move your SL. Look at, you move your SL from where your SL to the current price where you are. You are breaking even, even so that if market comes back to this place, it will not hit anything in your account. Nobody lose. But as far as the price is moving in your favor, you use your, this is your crosshair. This is your crosshair. This is what they call crosshair. Position it where you are. Drag it up. You'll be able to see the numbers of pips you are in. In profit. It's as simple as ABCD. These are the basic things you need to know. So once I put it here, press it down. Use my other hand to drag it up. As you can see, I'm currently 230 pips. I can still move my essay. This is my essay here. I can move it down to this place. I've secured all extra 200 pips. So if the market hits me again, I'm already in profit. I've secured that, I've secured that. So don't allow yourself to see a profit. At the same time, be hoping that price must hit my take profit. That is where you get it wrong. Price will, may not hit it. It's under probability. Everything you're doing, trading is under probability. Once you are already in profit, secure the little one that you have by moving your SL Take like maybe 20, 30 pips from that or you break even then relax and allow the market to move. Not when you, you're already in profit. Let's assume now I'm already in profit like this. My stop loss is still here. What am I do, doing? I'm deceiving myself. What point am I trying to, uh, to point that I'm the best trader? I always hit take profit. No, you have to be very smart in this business. Now, as you can see, I've moved my SL to this point here. I have secured this point. I can decide not to look at the trade again. I already know I've secured 100 pips. 100 pips is $100. I've secured it. I have over 200 pips floating. I have secured half of it. All I need to do is relax. Do you understand? So that is how you take your trade. Once you are in profit, break even. Move your SF first to your entry position. As you're progressing, start securing profit just like what i did now so that is how you secure your trade you must not allow price to hit take profit stop avoiding just looking at those things you see online i must hit take profit first no once you see profit your business is to go into the market collect what you want to get and get out do you understand and collect it and get out so long you are in profit break even number one as price is moving in your favor, start what? What's it called? Trilling stop. What I just did now is trilling stop. I have moved my SL above my entry price. I've uh, um, trilled the stop. The same thing with the sell position. That's how you need to do. So that's that about those of you who don't know how to secure profit and don't know how to take profit. So now let's move on to the next, the next what? Setup. So that's that for that. For those of you who don't know how to secure profit and all that. So I'm going to be moving in to the next setup. They are all the same. From here, select any of the pair. Okay. I need to look out for any of this. Select any of the pair. This high and low. Select any of the pair. What's going on? Let me go back again. select any of the pairs so if there is a signal i'm going to see it pop and plane it's going to show me so if there is a signal i'm going to see something here trend direction either up move or down move numbers of candles zero one or two now that i'm seeing none there's no signal i move on do you understand no signal simple as abcd all i need to do is move on then Once I click it, select the pair that I want the software to analyze for me. I just click it. If there is a signal, I'm going to see it. As you can see, there is no signal, which is none. No trend direction. Market has not reacted to any key level. All I need to move on again. Start looking for opportunity. This is for the manual. This can be sending you notification. It's very simple. It simply means that you it will tell you when the price 
he's about to buy or sell the same principle just come here click on it as you can see this is the last phase now this Ganesha will only focus on first phase it's only if you are a pro trader do you understand if you are a pro trader that is when you can use this last phase first phase simply means that the price is just buying it's just starting but last phase is simply telling you that this price has been buying since so it want to change direction now so all you need to do focus on trend direction very simple focus on trend direction is telling us up move this must be first phase please except you are a pro trader you know what you're doing that's where you can take this last phase. me i can trade last phase but if you don't know anything about forest only focus when you are saying first phase please and numbers of candle must be in the range of zero one or two simple as abcd the next thing you need to do Go to your inbuilt chart, check if BTC is close to a resistance or support. If it's not close to a resistance or support, then you can take the buy, simple as ABC. That's that for that. There's no rocket science here. You can use it. This is a pro of that one I just showed you. You understand? It tells you immediately. It's very fast. It gives you a faster signal than the rest that you're seeing. You know, and the accuracy is way higher too and you'll be able to hold your trade for long it can give you 100 to 200 pips you understand with one signal because you're going to take it from the top before everybody notice it will just give you the signal so all you need to do is just take that signal and you relax yourself you can see there's no signal here there's no signal on this so each of the setup has different market condition that you can use to get the signal out do you understand it as simple what as what abc there's no signal that's why you're saying no direction but the ganesha itself are just giving us a signal on the last phase all you need to do go to your in chart check if it's close to resistance or support before you take the trade and that so now i'm going to be showing you how you can program now this ganesha pool you can use it to trade uh what's it called derive binary option you understand you can use your trade binary option which is rise and fall so whenever you get a signal as a notification to buy or sell all you need to do select your pair and put your time duration to either three to four hours and leave it that's a stake on derive or binary option that you're doing so now let's Once you click history, just click load. Click load. So long your notification is working, just click load. Once I click load, look at it. It's going to load all the whole page. It has loaded all the whole page for me. Do you understand? Everything has been loaded for me. Then the same thing with all of them. I can come to Ganesha Pro. I have loaded everything already. As you can see, everything loaded. Just click load. It will load everything. If you want to delete the same thing, you delete all the same. Now, once you're done with all these things and you want to know, check if actually you are truly connected, all you need to do, there's what we call access control. Look at it. You click connection. Now, this connection is simply means I want to check if all my setups are, are connected. So, all I need to do, let me check for Smash 100. Just click on it. You see the issue you are having, blah, 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 blah. Meaning that I have not loaded any of my pair. You understand? I have not loaded any of my pair. So, that's why it's telling me all these things, the information. So, let me go to smash 100 and see where the problem is so if i've not loaded any pair in smash 100 i will not get any signal notification so as you can see there's nothing here so if i load everything now on smash 100 if i go back to check my connection you see that everything is in all right so if smash 100 get a signal i will be able to get an alert so let's check smash 100 so these are you check if actually you're connected so let me check smash 100 i'll click on it as you can see it's supposed to give me that the issue you are having blah 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 to resolve this 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 this, this. so all i need to do now is to fix my notification let me fix my notification just come here fix i'll just come here fix notification the simply the meaning of this is that is to copy my device id and send it to the database so that it can replace it to wherever those setup are so once i have to wait so i'll go back again and check if my connection is
will be able to be getting signal from smash hundred let me check it again you see as you can see um, better demo blah 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 your app is not connected to smash hundred app do you understand the only issue that will make you not to receive a lot is when your uh, device notification subscription has expired so currently now this is when my subscription is going to expire it's going to update it back to what's it called december is automated so is we have given everybody free access to december so it's going to change it to december for me in less than let me check again maybe in in 30 minutes or 40 minutes time is going to check it so that is how you check your connections very well it's as simple the same thing with forex the same thing with synthetic so let me check my ganesha setup if actually i'm connected as you can see there is no sorry you cannot receive any signal because you have not loaded any pair so let me check let me go back and see so let me see if it's true i have loaded so all i need to do is to reload again reload it again once i reload it again and i will go and check again i'll check again maybe later but that is how you check if your connection is ready the same thing with crypto the same thing i just showed you now sorry the same thing with synthetic the same thing i just showed you now load your pair from history and once you get your signal you do the needful for synthetic this is where you need to focus on they are all the same thing smash 100 check your input chart this is what and what you need to do all these ones you're saying they are for professional traders so if you don't know how to use all these things avoid them stick to smash 100 the same thing zero candle one or two and check if price is close to resistance for the ganesha guys sorry i want to be using ganesha and uh, just come here click on this this is for crypto sorry i'm always calling crypto this is for synthetic check here or you get it from set alert this is for the pro it's only this pro that you can use for binary option this pro you can use for binary option once you set that once you pay for your subscription which is 50 dollars per month but currently we are giving a discount from november to december 2024 30 dollars per month so once you've gotten that you'll be able to check out all these things once you place it you'll be fine so that is how it works so all you need to do take your trade apply proper risk management and you'll be able to get the results as soon as possible so that's just it all you need to do just come here load your pair this is for Ganesha select any pair if it's one pair you want to be looking out for just select it but for like me I always load all the hoop pairs history i click load as you can see the system is watching about 16 pairs for me so whenever there is a signal on this it will notify me then i take my trade simple as what abcd now i don't need to be checking up and down because my notification is working so if your notification is not working that's where you come here and be checking one after the other to see if there's a signal but if your notification is working you don't have what any issue so that is that about the software if there is anything i need you guys to know i'll be able to tell you now as you can see we have daily subscription now this daily subscription will help you to be gaining access into the software every day you understand if you don't have money to subscribe for one month now this is how it works all you need to do fund your wallet minimum of three dollars so we charge three dollars for you to gain access either in forest or either synthetic three dollar per day now one thing you need to understand is it daily access is that you may have access into the app today and the system can may not give you signal today because the system does not control the signal that comes in the market it is the market structure that gives us the signal so if there's no good structure that day, the app will not give you any signal meaning that the three dollar you paid as your gate fee is not refundable because you paid it to gain access into the app just the way the monthly subscriber paid monthly to gain access into the app for 30 days that is how you a daily subscriber is doing you are only paying three dollar every day to gain access to all these functions i just showed you so you need to understand it very very well if you don't have money for the monthly then you can be doing the daily and the daily every day does not guarantee that you will be getting signal every day no 
the access of this is to grant you access to the app and check for signal if there's no signal for that day your money has expired the same thing with the monthly subscribers the only difference is that you are paying bit by bit to gain access while the monthly has paid for full 30 days to gain access to the app is as simple as that so you need to understand it those of you who are subscribing for this daily you all you need to do fund your wallet fund 30 dollar then on that 20 and uh, three dollar which is the lowest then will not credit it into your dashboard from there for your dashboard as you can see i have two hundred dollars here so with this if i want to access any of the platform all i need to do is just set it up once i set it up to either forest or synthetic another video will be for that to either forest or synthetic so i will have access for forest or synthetic for just one day which is three dollar the next day maybe i don't want to trade tomorrow my money still remains here you understand it's not withdrawable you've credited you we've credited you so you need to understand all these things very very well before you opt into the daily <laughs> subscription you understand so that you can be controlling the access of which you can use to get into the software or not that's what i have to say so if there is any other thing again i'll be able to tell you guys but for now everything is working very very well your device notification there's a video for that for you to know how to do that if you're using an iphone there's a video for that for you to install the phone the app on your iphone but for now you have taught you everything that you need to know the ones that you i did not mention there you can actually check them on my youtube channel if you have any other question you can drop it on the telegram channel for me to answer you thank you very much